In this video, we will walk through where to download the Reaper digital audio workstation, what your audiobook will look like, how to make sure your mic is connected to the program, and how to arm the tracks to record your chapters. To download Reaper, you will go to reaper.fm forward slash download. Depending on your operating system, choose Windows or Mac to download. Once it is downloaded, it will ask if you would like to purchase or if you are still evaluating. Just select still evaluating. Here is an example of what your audiobook project will look like. We will create each track to correspond to the chapters in your book. The first thing we will do is make sure that your microphone is connected to the program so that you can start recording. To do this, we will go to Options, then Preferences. Or you can use the quick key Control P or Command P. You will then go to Device under the Audio section. In the Audio System dropdown, select your USB mic or go to the ACO option to select your audio interface. We will now verify that the input is correct on the tracks you will record to and check the microphone volume level. To do this, we will open the mixer window by using the quick key Alt D or Command D. Click the area that shows what input is selected. If this shows your USB mic, great. If you are using an audio interface, be sure that this input corresponds to the input you plugged your mic into. You will now arm the track you are wanting to record to. You should now see your microphone levels showing on the track you just armed. Read a piece of dialogue and set the level on your microphone or audio interface to be around negative 12 to negative 6 dB. You are now ready to record. Click the record icon in the transport section or click Ctrl R or Command R to start the recording. Be sure you only have the intended track armed as it will record to any track that is armed. You will now see your audio being recorded. Once you are finished recording, select the stop button in the transport section or click spacebar. Click spacebar again or select save all to save the recording. You will then disarm the active track and arm the next track for recording. Be sure to record the next audio region after the one already recorded. You can now begin recording again. Press spacebar when you are finished. Continue this pattern until you are finished recording your audiobook.